This is Nadia Strong reporting for Global Girl Media Chicago. We're in Logan Square at the If You See Something, Say Something art exhibition. All of the artwork here was created by artists who are focused on revealing how our culture's attitudes perpetuate sexual violence. This exhibition deals with rape culture um, from an angle of prevention. And so what we did was focus on the center of disease controls, prevention methods, um, as well as the causes of rape culture. So as a curator, um, I looked at the work as a collective effort to develop a safe space for conversation and confrontation of rape. Hey, what are some other things that we like learning? Um, rape culture influences your life from when you're a child all the way through until you're a senior citizen. Who we think has power, who we think doesn't have power. Um, I hope that people come and they see some of the great work um, that's here and they can begin to build that empathy part. They begin to not only raise awareness about the issue, but then build empathy with victims and start seeing um, the perspective of a culture that wants to fight back against condoning this sort of violence against women. Thank you want a battle you gonna have to pay some paper. I just hit her and I quit her. I would never ever date her. It's the same how I'm barely getting love in the city trap. Uh, men totally encourage each other to be players or studs. They buy into the hierarchy because um, they look at each other comparatively like who's the bigger man? And it becomes this game of like, who, who's winning? Who got the girl? And at what cost? At what price is that girl paying for that guy to have a trophy or notch on his belt? I think that as, as a society, what we can do to help end rape culture is to stop making the feminine um, negative, to stop making um, what we associate with the feminine empathy something that is seen as weak or something that is seen as um, you should be ashamed of having empathy. I think that the calling things out directly for what they are, Elizabeth's phrase, if you see something or if you hear something or then say something, that's clutch to me. Right, this just the idea that like, when a song like Blurred Lines comes out, that you recognize it for what it is and you feel like you can say something immediately. Like that's what you can do. Because even if your friends are like, you're being stupid, you're too sensitive, that's dumb, this beat is good, they're gonna think about it the next time they hear it. And eventually they might be like, yeah, these lyrics are a mess. And that's what you need. You need people to start being more critical of it, not letting it slide. This is Nadia Strong reporting for Global Girl Media Chicago. This is our world and my voice.